The neuroscience of love is one of the most complex questions in neuroscience. We are all social by nature, so understanding uh, love is a critical question. I'm Stephanie Cassiopo, research assistant professor at the University of Chicago. John Cassiopo, Tiffany Margaret Blake, distinguished service professor and director of the Center for Cognitive and Social Neuroscience at the University of Chicago. The neuroscience of social connections is a spectrum. You can have one extreme that is um, characterized by the lack of connections, like feelings of loneliness, feelings of being rejected by another. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have the presence of a significant other, when you feel passionate love for someone else or desire for someone else. So you can go from the negative to the positive uh, side of social connections. Uh, when I started studying loneliness from the social neuroscience perspective about 20 years ago, loneliness was viewed as a horrible condition with no redeeming features. Loneliness was also at that point studied from a phenomenologic point of view. I never started to study loneliness. I was studying this social isolation and perceived social isolation was called loneliness. So I found myself in this field where the approach was quite different. Uh, and it didn't make sense that biology would have evolved such a state if it had no redeeming features. You can see that love is not only a basic emotion, it's a very complex emotion. And it also activates some uh, cognitive processes that are very um, um, high in the hierarchy of the functions of the human brain. Pain is an aversive signal that motivates you to take care of your body when you're incurring potential tissue damage. Similarly, loneliness is this aversive state that you don't want to remain in, but it's an aversive signal that motivates you to attend to and care for these social connections that define us as a social species. And it turns out that uh, we, we need uh, to survive and prosper as a social species. We now see the link between the neuroscience of love and the old theory of social psychology, suggesting that love is not only an emotion, it's also a mechanism that is um, uh, intending to expand yourself. 